Hello. Oh, there we go. I think that's working. Hello, everyone. How are we all doing? <laughs> the queue, he lives. Yes, I'm alive. I made it. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. And welcome back to some Long Dark. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to streaming and everything. Um, yes. The, the, the stream title. Ooh. So, basically, um... We want the toilet mic back, that's it. Can I request some music? Uh, no, uh, Bobo. Uh, we don't have music on the stream, like, not like that, like, song requests or anything. So, not something I subscribe to personally. Um, so the title, the title of today's stream. Just before starting here, my lovely girlfriend, sitting, you know, about three feet that way, um, decided she was, well, not decided, yeah. I, I asked her you, to get, I asked, I asked Jane asked for this, chat. to give me a lockdown haircut. A no. Nope. Ask for it. I you did. asked for it, Chad. I did. I asked for it. A <laughs> lockdown haircut. Oh, Larry. Hello, Larry. I think I need to VIP you, don't I? Larry, Mr. P Larry Peng. Uh, VIP. He's a close mate of mine, chat. Larry. Oh, Peng. yeah. There you go. Thank you very much there to uh, Sierra. Uh, for the four months, they're very, very kind. So, uh, coronavirus lockdown haircut. Now, Jane has a shaver, um, and it goes up for anywhere between 1 and 15. Oh, so, we went for the 15. Yeah. Three, 3 to 15, sorry. 3 to 15. Or you could just take the guard off, I guess, and then it's a yeah. 1. Then it's a nun. Then it's a nun. Um, <laughs> the church goes. Going to church, that's it. Um, so, yeah. 15 millimeters, yeah. I think it... Uh, 15 mil? Was that, was that yeah, it? Yeah, 15 mil. So I had it all off. Right? I, I've had my entire hair cut off. And now... Well, there's no easy way to say it, chat. I look like Gober Pile. There's no, way, there's no easy way to say it. I look like Private Pile. <laughs> it's, uh, it's the worst. <laughs> Breaking Beck. <laughs> they, they want a face cam for this. They can't have a face cam. I, I don't dare put a face cam on. It's going to ruin the sultry illusion. People think I look good. People think I look good. The voice is deceptive. The only people that Joe, know I is Blade to, and I Larry. Hate, I hate to tell you, though, there are photos of you on the Discord. Yeah, I know, but, like, you know, a lot of people haven't seen that. Oh, Go yeah. Oh, they, they, they already know. That's it. I might link, I might link, Pat, uh, link Pat, link chat a picture, maybe. That might be the compromise instead of setting up a face cam. Jane's gonna link a photo chat to uh to Goba Pile. If you haven't seen my face before, I apologize. Premium Q chat, that's it. Cuba Pile, Joba Pile, I think someone said. Is your brother the owner of Xbox Ahoy? Very possibly. Welcome to my world. <laughs> yeah. Q has OnlyFans? Yes. The premium members. Oh god, there oh, it is. Oh yeah. Go for pile. <laughs> oh, it looks fantastic. That's a lot of chin. That is a lot of chin. I'm a big guy. Sexy oh, that's a boy great energy. Corona cut. <laughs> that is a quality corona cut there. It's just like that's not bad at all. Blade, you're bald, it's different. My hair's shorter than that. Yeah, to be fair. To be fair. Well, I've got you nothing here. Yeah. No Looking fresh. I feel fresh. I shaved my um, beard as well. I, well, let's call it a beard. My scraggle. I've been trying to like grow. Face pubes. Face pubes. It's James. Very kindly. Thank you to call I'm them. I'm sorry. That's what they look like. Cause there's, there's I can't grow a full beard. Far between. Can't grow a full beard. Like, I just can't do it. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I've, I've come to a while away, my dad. Because that. We've come to the agreement now that J Jane's going to deal with all the social contact, and I am going to stay in the flat and for two weeks until my hair grew grows. So, oh, fantastic! Yeah. Oh my god, look at that fucking hype train already! Thank you very much to Flaming Pan there for the twenty months. A scam train, scam trains up. A crazy thing, <laughs> bum fluff basically. Yeah, you got it. Lovely private pile. That's it. You all right, Burns? Welcome, welcome. Could be worse. Imagine having an. I Iro cut? Iro haircut? I'm not sure what that is. 
I, I've had the same haircut for like the last 20 years. Like I've never changed it. This is the first time I've like had my fringe chopped off. And it's just, it's given me an 11 head. <laughs> it's so hot. And I've got like the start of a widow's peak as well, which I didn't oh, realize it was hiding yeah. under my fringe. I've got the start of the bat symbol. <laughs> Like, uh, this is fucking the bat signal. Oh, that That's you? the one. They're going to shine a light on my head, and then a man with a raspy voice is going to turn up in spandex. Wait, what? Q isn't there? No, no, not in real life. Not in real life. <laughs> the illusion is broken. The illusion, yep, yeah, the illusion's broken now. You know what I look like? It's it's ruined. It's ruined. Only sides. I'm an unfollowed out cat. Anyway, we should probably play some of the Long Dark. I can't actually remember what we did. We didn't we, like, go for that, like, wild expedition like fucking up towards the Carter Hydra Dam I genuinely can't remember as, as is tradition we've been playing this game as soon as I load it I start yawning can't help it can't help it chat where's my donut I know <laughs> oh dear right so yeah anyway that's um fancy pants voice in the face of a 12 year old I know I've got such bad baby face I, I have to take my fucking ID with me to every pub because I look like a I look I look about twelve I look about I look about fourteen it's it's I despair man the, me growing the beard was an attempt to like fucking to like man the fuck up but it, yeah fucking literally like an entire zip code in between hairs on my chin it's terrible like I I've got like a quality neck beard but like or like no like my, I get get like the pedo tash and that's it. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Alright, cute. Uh, I'll probably forget and go back to imagining what's over at Womble Animated for the Rising Storm videos. Yep, yep, uh, it's probably best. It's probably for the best. Take your Class A amnestics now. <laughs> forget it now. That's it. Yeah, it's just um, wrecking the place. Lovely. So I'm just going to have a cube hydrate. Lovely jubbly. I've had some squash in my water bottle recently, which means just everything that comes out of it tastes of that squash. Doesn't matter how much I clean it. Cute uh, wants to get a beer cashier ID, please. Cute. Since when have <laughs> yeah, when is when is beer for people over thirty? True, true. Try and make the case. Uh, right. Let me see then. So the game itself. I have to change Steam accounts. Is it up here? I think so. I click play on that. We should be all right. Your face is now gracing the Discord. I'm I'm glad. I'm glad people can enjoy Babyface Joe. Oh god, it's so weird not having a fringe. I've got like phantom limb. I keep going to sweep my fringe to the side, and it's <laughs> I can it's not there. I can like feel my fringe needing to be swept over, but it's gone. Literally phantom. I've got phantom hair. Phantom hair chat. Platoon leader cat. Yes. The phantom fringe. The only moustache I can grow is what I've dubbed the inverse Hitler. Some hair either side, but nothing in the middle. Oh no. <laughs> Alternate universe Hitler. What's Hitler backwards? Re Hitler. Right, so it'd be it would be Rel Tier. Rel Rel T. <laughs> Rel Tier. Relta. <laughs> Terrible. Lovely. Right, okay, so if I tab into the game here, um, I can't actually hear any of the game sounds. Is this a piece of news that's popped up? I don't care. New dev diary released. Does not bother. Right, let's uh, go down here. I've got to find the capture window for TLD. And it's one of these. I'm sure it is one of them. It's one of them. Chat, there it is. The long dark capture window. And I believe we may even get some audio to go with that. I think we're getting some very quiet stuff through. Right then. <laughs> Fucking spent ammunition. Very, um, at long, for very, every different age category for you down to 10 years. Da go down 10 years. So age is 22. Facial age is 12. Mental age is 2. <laughs> Not accurate. Not I'm a accurate. very sophisticated very individual. Accurate. I I read, um, you know, what's on the cereal. <laughs> that's that's intelli intelligent, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> nice. I hate to tell you, but that was a bit of a mess. Has it? 
It kind of looked like a like a bad Grand Theft Auto Vice City character or something. But it's like the face is like it's like a, a a weird dub. I like it though. Right. Okay. So survival mode then. Uh, load and then sandbox. We are eleven days, nearly two weeks into our survival oh, gameplay. Oh yeah. So let's see how we do. Damien Jam, thank you very much. There, four more months and I become a grey bear. Prestigious group. Prestigious group. Okay, so we've woken up in the middle of the night after having a quality night's sleep here. What I need to do is go and ramble my way downstairs. Maybe fire up the old cook pot. Come on. There we go. Very early morning at the moment. Might even be able to go out and do some hunting, hopefully. If I can get some deer meat, that'll be a, a big thing for sure. Right. Got all of our spare books in here. What else am I carrying? Am I like overburdened with much? 22 kg probably indicates that I've emptied most of that. Oh my god, this I've not I've not seen it. Don't wanna know. <laughs> Leave me <alone. laughs> I've been I've been roasted. Right, okay, let me grab one of them. One of them. Probably need to just drink a little bit more. And then we can go from there. Have you explored the mine yet? What mine? I've not explored any mines on this. Uh, pork and beans, banged up tomatoes. I probably want to go hunting. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be difficult. I don't want to crack open any of these. I might just open up with a granola bar. Nothing says breakfast like a stale granola bar, eh? Right then. I think we should probably head out. Do I have my bow with me? Probably not. Probably got it downstairs still, don't I? I've got my arrows. No, I do have my bow. Okay. Let's head out and try and uh, do a little bit of hunting then, if we can. I think this door is the door we want to go out of. Because, yeah, if I can get a fresh deer kill oh, or something similar, yeah. that'll be fantastic. Mr. Umar... Sorry, is that Mur 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 Umaru? Sorry there. Thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub for three months. Very, 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 very kind. Enjoy your dark, dark bl black bray, bray, bray bear. Hello, Quebec. Quebec. How are you doing, Catla? Ah, words escape me for a moment there. Right. I can hear walls, but visibility is very poor. Mm. It's a little bit too dark to head out. The visibility is a bit too crap. I'm going to come back inside and I'm going to fire up the snipe. How's life, Private? It's great. Life's good. Life's good. Okay, let me kill this. And then fire up the stove. Use our fire striker on one of the tinder plugs. Use the ship fire striker and one of the sticks, 70% chance. Try and get that lit up and ready to go there. The Cinder Hills coal mine, it's got fairly good amount of resources. Does it? Good. I shall have to endeavour to head on over there at some point then. Vault of Mischief. I don't want to know what's in the Vault of Mischief. <laughs> oh god, I'm, I'm having really shit time trying to light this fire. 70% chance and I've failed twice. Come on, Fire Striker. There we go. Moobot is unsubbed, I know. Tragic times. I wonder how many emotes Moobot has, like, genuinely. Right, let's see here, we'll throw in a piece of that, another stick, right, so we've got some water boiling, because this is all I can do for the moment, I suppose I could make a coffee, can I make a coffee, cool. I've got some herbal tea, but I don't really need that, that helps with like regenerating at night, oh, doesn't it, yeah. keep our storm lantern away, ah, Sanhal in there, saving the day, gifted 31 subs in chat, there you go, Mooba, hallelujah, right, that's Boiled water. Actually, yeah, I'm just, just boiling boiled water, aren't I? Let's cook up then, or rather water. We're going to boil two litres for everyone. Get two litres in there. Keep hitting the wrong key. Two litres, and then two litres as well. 
that's going to take about an hour each. So if I throw in a couple of pieces of reclaimed wood, we're going to have to go out on some. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to probably go out and start chopping some trees down. Is the general consensus here. I've also got my bow skill. I could try and read this for a couple of hours, just while we're waiting for some better light, because I'm already by the fireplace. Also got seven litres of water, which I don't need all of. We can take, what, six litres? We can drop six litres, sorry, we'll put the rest up on the side here. As best as I can see, just kind of touchy feeling your way around. There we go, and then let's take a look at this book, shall we? So stay on target. It will level up my archery if I read it all, which is good actually, so I might do that. Research for five hours. It's too dark to read. Okay. Well, you know, take what we can get. Can I pass time for an hour? Still just waiting for the sun to come up. Just pass time for an hour. I'm getting very hungry. I wonder if I can just step outside into the porch. I wonder if it's bright enough out there. I don't know how the fuck I felt my way around then. Looks like I survived another night. Uh, you did, son. Oh, yeah. Right, let's have a read again. There's a very angry wolf outside, isn't there? There's wolves running around over there. I could go wolf hunting with the bow. Don't see why that's unreasonable. I just want to stick to the warmth of in here. Probably going to need to crack open some of this. Let's see. Dusty. And bit of bit of banged up dog food. That'll do me fine. Nice haircut. M did mine last week and went with six millimeters. Blimey, O'Reilly. Lovely. Bit of dog food, eh? Very nice. Okay. We're still hunting for a maple sapling, chat. That is something we're still desperately trying to find. Got 13 bullets of rifle ammunition here. We'll probably drop a ten of ten of those off at least. Got a lot of rifle ammunition now. Got a shitload of ammunition. It's very nice. I'll keep the three bullets with me. I'm going to primarily be doing bow bow hunting if I can, because I made a load of fresh arrows. Got all of that, got all of that. Let's see if we can finish reading that book. Two hours left. Read it to our heart's content. And that is that. I believe we level up our bow skill there. Did we? Oh, not quite. Just barely off. New to archery. But it said I could... Oh, well. Research completed. I'm basically already there. A couple, a couple of shots with the bow and we'll be in a good spot. So I can put that over here. Now I'm not really using that. Let's grab a fresh bottle of water. Probably quite a bit of water. We're going out on very little food, but we need to do the whole hunter-gathering thing. So we're going to head out with what I have. And then we'll try and harvest some animals if we can. Rabbits or what have you. Six arrows. Definitely not bad, considering I haven't been able to manufacture arrowheads. Definitely not bad. Now, is there a carcass or... There's a wolf over there. But he's coming over this way. I feel like I want to have a pop at a wolf if I can. Oh, it's not yeah. amazing food, but it's good XP. Thank you very much there to Glowmen for the seven months. Very, very kind. Now, back in the day, I kind of got a bit better with the bow. I wonder, wonder if I've retained any of that skill. Probably not. I feel like that wolf is tracking me, but I don't have any food on me. Too low. Wow, 
way too low. I guess I'm just not very proficient with the bow yet. Can't pull it back very far. Okay. Wait till we see the whites of his eyes. Right through the head. Very nice. Right through his eye. Jesus. That'll do. We can bring that back and cook it. Look at that chat right through its fucking eyeball. Right, okay. Only three kilograms of meat. We'll take it all with us though. We're cold, but we're going to be able to warm up inside. This is the, the risk you have to take sometimes with this. It's a good harvest. We'll head back inside and we'll get warm. Damn. I'm freezing. Mm. It's less than ideal. You've got to take what you can get. Now, I'm probably going to need to break up a little bit of furniture inside to get reclaimed wood. I think that's really my only, only option. Okay. What difficulty am I playing on? This is stalker difficulty. Right. So, I need to go and break up some right stuff. Now. Let me get rid of this chair. Take an hour. There we go. And then let's fire up the old stove. All of that oh, stuff boiled nicely. Yeah. Thank you very much there to Shadow Killer for gifting us sub to Mr. Screwed himself. Good stuff. Thank you very much. Right. Tinder plug, stick, striker, start. I need to cook this up just so I have a better chance of surviving. Because obviously meat, fresh meat. You're much more likely to, uh, you know, well, you're less likely to get diddled with, uh, you know, the calorie intake and stuff. And definitely if I keep making shots like that, well, add all of the crap ones that I did, but be in a much better spot. Right, let's cook that. It's going to take about two hours for all of them to be done. We can grab all of that water. should probably put that back on there. Can I just, can I put a pot on there? Yeah. And then we'll put that in the pot, cook up, and then we'll just fold it like an old sandal, and then we'll cook the last of the wolf meat in there. It's only going to take 15 minutes, we'll grab the potable water. Might as well make use of the fact that the stove's already on and get some water on the boil. Uh, let's just boil up some just half a litre there. Plenty of water on the side there, which is great. Could just have a quick swig of herbal tea. Yeah, let's just have a quick swig of herbal tea. It just means we'll regenerate a little bit faster. Lovely stuff. Improved rest. Ah, well, it's rest. Okay, never mind. I thought I would just improve my normal regeneration. Never mind. So we'll grab that. We'll eat that. There we go. Only a very small piece of meat. Risk of intestinal parasites. Cooking has gone to level 2. Let's take a look at what that has done for us. Cooking level two. You're getting better at cooking with camp tools. You don't burn things so much, including yourself. 10% calories from any cooked meal. So we've leveled that up, which is nice. Archery's done okay. Fire starting's getting up there, and so is carcass harvesting. Mending and revolver firearm is also doing pretty well, which is nice. Gunsmithing we've not done much of. Rifle firearm we've done nothing with. But yes, we've, uh, we now get 10% more calories from food. The risk of intestinal parasites is currently 1%, which is not great. I do have plenty of antibiotics, should I get into a vice. I've got a box of six there. I've got uh, multiple there. I've got 24 more tablets in there. So I can survive at least one d uh, bout of intestinal parasites. I've also got quite a few, if I remember. One of these cabinets has medical supplies in if, if I remember which one. I'm sure one of them is medical supplies, like uh, Reshi mushrooms and whatever. Genuinely can't remember which cabinet it was. I thought it was one of these, but okay, apparently I'm very wrong. Which cabinet has the Reshi mushrooms in there? Are we in Pleasant Valley? Yes, we are. Let me coffee up there. What's there? In this drawer? Ah, here it is. I've only got two in here find any on my travels? Need to drop the meat off. I did dry... There we go. I've got, I've got them all on me. And a, <coughs> <coughs> Jesus. Looking at hay fever. Reshi mushrooms. <coughs> um, immersion. 
to the maximum. Right. Let's go through there. We need to drop off our hides. We've got some wolf hide curing up here. That's actually cured now. We could potentially get towards making the uh, what's it jacket, the uh, wolf skin jacket. I think I need four pelt for that though. If I go up here, uh, camp craft, yeah, the wolf skin coat requires four wolf pelts, four guts, which I have four guts, but I only have two wolf pelts at the moment. So we're working on that. Apologies if that sneeze was a bit much for people. Let's eat that up. Risk of intestinal parasites keeps climbing. I'm hoping we can mitigate that as time goes on. The fresh meat will leave there. Snow's boiling. Oh, we've probably got to put in another thing just so it doesn't boil out. That's close. 30 minutes. We'll grab that stuff off the stove. That stuff's going to be boiling for another hour. We won't let that go like that. We'll put this in here for now because we've already eaten a little bit. We'll drop off our eight liters of water, or like we'll drop off seven liters of it because we've just drank. Kind of need to rest as well. Let's drop off like seven liters. We'll put that all on the shelf here. Plenty of water in now, which is very nice. Very happy with that on the whole throwing it on there. I'm not sure you can tell. For some reason water bottle hitboxes are kind of like, no, they're not too bad actually. The hitboxes seem to be a bit all over the place for me. Right, we'll head on out again, although we are quite tired. We'll see if there's any wolves close to the house. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh my god. Crime stoppers. People will think that's real. <laughs> People will think that's real or something. I know they will. It's all of that. That's spare coal. Coal Phelps, if, I, if you will. Yeah, visibility is very poor here. Very, very poor. There's normally a few wolves that hang out up and over this way. Condition's not amazing. Risk of a parasite. I could, you know, I could go up upstairs and get some improved rest, but it's like the middle of the day. I'd rather not, like, have my body, like, in so out of whack that I'm going to be waking up in the middle of the night, because... Very difficult to do things in the middle of the night. Very difficult to do things in the middle of the day from the looks of it. Oh, more revolver casings. Glad that we keep finding them. Because I've fired the revolver a few times but not grabbed the casings. We can use them to manufacture bullets. So I've been told. Here we go, look at this. Car battery. 15 kilograms. Useless in the abandoned vehicles around Great Bear Islands. Car batteries can still be harvested for scrap lead. We'll leave that in there. We do have this trunk. Let's see if there's anything good in here so close and yet so far. Fuck all. Such as it is. It's annoying. I want to go out and explore stuff, but... Oh. There is a wolf. We'll get close to the door. That's very opportune for us. Oh, he just let go of the bow. I think I ran out of what's it, didn't I? Right, okay. Keep fighting back, keep fighting back, keep fighting back. Okay. Laceration. Applying bandage. Did not do anything. Okay. Kind of want to track that guy. Take a look at our medical menu. Okay. Looks like our clothes just got torn. I kind of want to track this guy. Because that was quite a lot of damage we did to him. What was that? That must have been a, a rabbit? Must have been a rabbit. Well, we're going out over this way following the blood trail. Interesting. Q slipped. Oh, I s Oh, Jesus, that was annoying. I see. So, like, because my character's so... That's a new mechanic with the bow. Because my character's so tired, it affects the amount of time I can draw the bow for. I see. Okay. I'm learning. I'm relearning the new mechanics of the game. Quite a lot of blood. I did a lot of stab damage to him. Let's see where this goes. Take that for a potential bit of rabbit hunting. Nice drops of blood here. Need to grab a few more sticks anyway. I'll just try and keep on 
this trial as best we can. Wouldn't it be nice if we stumbled into a maple sapling? Although I think that's probably a bit too much to ask. Come on, Mr. Wolf. I gave you a really hard time. It'd be great if you uh, came over. I did get a couple of good stabs on you. Here, crows. Might be our man. Wolf over that way. I can take the road back to the house. There's a deer there. A couple of deer. I'm going to let them go. So I'm already tracking a kill. This wolf came really far out. He's made it really made me work for me meal. Shack there. Try and explore that if we can. This is where the crows are. Here we go. Found him. Five kilograms. He was a big boy. We'll take that. We'll leave the guts. Sprain affliction. Let's go and check this thing out. I don't remember bumping into this before. There's one of those deer. We'll have to try and remember where this is. Did we? Have we been here? Honestly, can't remember. No, there's a rifle cartridge. Nothing on the body. Lots of uh, firewood, which I'll take. Anything in here? No? Ah, another rifle cartridge is worth it. We'll take that, and then I'll try and sort of ramble on home with some haste. I have to try and remember that these guys are here. Gotta go over the bridge. Get to the barn, take a right, we can go home. We can then potentially cook some of this up in the morning. I've got that fir wood now, which means I don't need to keep ripping down furniture. Visibility is increasing a little bit, which is nice. Only problem is I'm going to be attracting a shitload of wolves with the amount of scent I've got, which is okay because it's all opportunity to train the bow skill up. I do have spare arrowheads and stuff. My big limiting factor at the moment is maple saplings. I have no maple saplings, none to cure, none nothing, which means I'm look I'm probably going to be looking more to the rifle um, to kill things. To be honest, like that's that's really like where the rifle gameplay is going to start, um, because like I, I'm now going to have to start using it as a means of hunting. As soon as the as soon as the uh, the bow breaks, which I've got to be honest is probably going to be a lot more it's probably a lot closer than I than I really give credit for yeah we're going to be in a world of bother very very soon could try uh, it's good to remember that there are a lot of fur limbs and cedar limbs out here I think these are fur always need sticks not see any wabbits can't see any bears either or any walls, which is nice. Yeah, we'll get inside. We need to probably make some herbal tea, if nothing else, just to get a good night's sleep here, I think. Just because, well, in fact, we might be alright. We might heal that up over the course of a long rest, because we're, we're getting in at about the right time. But we've got the wolf pelt, which is the important thing. The wolf pelt is the thing that we wanted. Um, grappling with the wolves is also a good thing. I'm glad we managed to get that shot with the bow, though. That went really well, um, the first time, anyway. I've just got to bear in mind now that stamina, which it should, affects bow draw, which is a bit of a problem. This is my rifle. This is my... Oh, God. Another full metal jacket reference for me there. Lovely. Right. You are the reference, that's it. This game is a Firewatch vibe, I guess, yeah, I could see that. Head on inside. There's where we tussled. A lot of that blood on the floor's mine, to be honest. Let's head on back back inside. Good stuff, great opportunity to get one. Have you been enjoying Star Citizen 3.9? I have, Freddy. I've got a couple of new ships that I'm flying around. Um, I've got a 
I got myself a Heartseeker Hornet. Um, I had it before, but I bought back the Pledge. And uh, the Anvil Hurricane, uh, which I've outfitted with a couple of size 4 uh, M6A lasers. Very meaty. Very, very meaty. Fixed. Um, not gimbaled. Right, so this stuff I probably want to put in the fridge, don't I? So let's have a look here. So the freezer's got a couple of things in it. Put the fridge down here. Probably, yeah. I'll put, the, oh, I'll put it the other way around. I'll yeah. put this stuff in the fridge. And the cook stuff in the freezer. You should probably keep until morning and then I can boil some more stuff off. Thank you very much there to Win Clan Wolf. A Will Clan Wolf, sorry, thank you. Very, very kind, sir. Good to have you over. Brilliant. Right, I can sleep. Probably going to eat that couple of bits of meat that I've got there. Because I am very much in need of a meal. The problem is I am really struggling for intestinal parasites. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to risk it. I've got to eat. Right, what we'll do is we'll drink then, and then we'll head upstairs, and then we'll come down in the morning, make a coffee, and then we will brew from there. How much uh, fuel do I have left in my storm lantern? Not very much. Let me just head down to the basement and grab some more before it gets too dark. What have we got going on down here? I forget what we've got down here in terms of supplies. We've got ourselves the flashlight. We've got a spare rabbit snare. There's no real rabbits nearby. Only fake rabbits. We do have a fair bit of furniture down here we can break up. A lot of cured guts. Two, three pieces of deer hide. We've got plenty of birch sapling. All of that's curing nicely. We've got three cured rabbit pelts, which I don't think I can do anything with. I think I need more, don't I? I need four for that. I could make myself a hat. Rabbit skin hat. Is that worth doing? I guess so. It's three and a half hours on the workbench. I've come, I came down here for something specific. No, I can't remember what I came down here for. Lantern fuel. I'm sure, I came down for lantern fuel, didn't I? I'm sure one of these has lantern fuel in it. There it is. Right, let's top up that. We also want to drop off our spare shell casings that we found. Also want to drop off this fresh wolf pelt that I found as well, because then I can craft all of them, which is nice. Well, not all of them, but it's just another thing to the to another another what's the saying? Another string to your bow. Right, let's grab this one and then like this one, and we'll put the rifle casings away in there. I think sure. There we go. So we got five rifle casings. We got 23 revolver ammunition. I didn't even realize we were carrying so much. Doing well. Doing very well, chat. Right, okay. Um, so I got that. I got that. Weapons. The bow is on 53% actually. That's not too bad, all things considered. Sprained ankle risk. I can keep that feather on us for now. We got a bandage. We probably want to make more of them. 500 people watching. Jesus Christ. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Stumbled into that, didn't I? Right. Yeah, the lantern fuel was what I came down for. Let's top that up. Lovely. It's almost a full lantern. That will help me in the night time here, because we're going into the night time. I'm going to get upstairs, get some rest, while I've got the restful, restful rest debuff on, or pro buff. buff. <laughs> and then we can go from there. Can you give the missus a hug? Oh, go on then. I'm sure I can facilitate that. Let me just grab some sleep, chat. And then I shall certainly give Jaina a hug. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much there to Blade for gifting a sum to spent ammunition. 127 subs, Blade. Jesus Christ. Thank you very much, sir. And then let us hit the sack for 12 hours. Hug incoming! Oh, yeah. Oh. I need something to drink. There we go. Soon. It's like me waking up in the morning. There we go. Give Jane a head pats. Head pats received. Right. Let's see here. Very, very dark. What we want to do is make use of the morning if we can to uh, go and cook up some of that 
meat that we have downstairs. Because it doesn't last very long indoors, as I'm sure you can appreciate. Risk of intestinal parasites is still quite high. What's the deterioration of this meat looking like? 71%. It could probably survive the morning out here. So I'll probably leave that as it is. Right, we are going on a hunt for some deer. I'm going to do that this morning if the weather is agreeable. I'm not going to take any food out with me. I'm just going to go as I am. I need to drop off the fir wood, actually, before I do that. So let's go. Thank you very much there for the 100 bits from Fatman DW. Very, very kind. Right, let's drop off this because I've got to, like, free up. Like, these things weigh a ton. Did I drop them off already? I don't know whether I, did I drop them off? I think I did. Did I like? Why did I drop off those like first fir, fir wood? Did I not even pick them up? I don't even know. Another hundred bits there from Elf. We're going to we're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. That we are. Twenty-five kilograms. There it is. Just leave that there. Leave farmhouse. Make good time. Hopefully back to lurk mode. No worries, army pilot. Right. It is very early morning. The temperature is extremely cold. Overall temperature is minus 27. Let's head on out to the barn as our first leg. So we know roughly where there were some deer skulking around, so if I can do that, that would be great. Now, where I'm sure I've lost an arrow. Did I lose an arrow, chat? Did it break? Was I, I appear to have lost an arrow. Although I suppose I have six arrows and then five when knocked, don't I? Because I've got one arrow in the bow here, I'm guessing. Because if I do like that, there you go, six, and then five when it's knocked, I see. I wonder if that's it. Did I have seven bow? Did I have seven arrows before? I think I, I think I only had six arrows in total, didn't I? I don't think I've fired any off into oblivion. That explains it. I think I think that's it. I can't I don't know whether I had like seven arrows and I did fuck one off into oblivion. You've got them all. Good stuff. Right, so we're just gonna take an, just an opportunity to get warm in this barn for a hot moment. And then we'll go and search down by where we found those deer, because there may may be a maple sapling. And that will be a huge deal for me. Did you leave it in the first wolf that you killed? No, I did not. Oh, from a hundred there, I noticed you're quite a midget. Here's some money for the length increase. By the way, up update, by the way, still don't have money, but I want to support you all I can. Accept it, you tasty bear meat. <laughs> you know what a roller coaster of emotions that was. Right, thank you very much, Hundra, for the £4.35. Don't worry about the support, like. Honestly, honestly, it's very kind of you to be like, I want to support Joe's, you know, the neckbeard fund. But genuinely, don't. Don't worry about it. I'll be okay. I'll live. Hopefully. Right. Wanna look. There we go. I can sleep for an hour. Let's do that. Secret Specsavers Stalker. I know, right? Oh, yeah. Nice and warm. Let's head on out. Excellent. Dutch Cook, thank you very much there for the 17 months. Visibility is very agreeable. Temperature isn't. Temperature's extremely bloody cold. But I want to go across the bridge and explore oh, over that yeah. way if I can. Try and grab a couple of deer kills if I can. So if I kill one more deer, I'll have all of the um, carcass, or well, all of the hide I need to either craft the boots or the trousers. I'm inclined to maybe go for the trousers first. But we'll see. Thank you very much there to Jfire as well. All of the subs coming in. Thank you very much, chat. No, no thing there. New thing. There's that shack we were at before. Oh, no sign yeah. of a deer. That's a deer. That's a bit closer to the house as well. We'll go and introduce ourselves to this guy. Keep the now, change, oh, God, five animal. pounds from Messi. Hello, buy Janus some buy fancy Janus ice cream. Buy some fancy ice cream, please. I, I will endeavour to. Thank you very much, Messi. Mm. 
Right. How have you been, Messi? How, how are things on planet S? Very cold, but we're very close to the grain silo here, so this is the perfect place to... The problem is, it's like, I, unless I kill this guy in one shot, which I don't think I will... Just shot it over him, just a little bit too high, and hitting that rock has shagged that arrowhead. That's fine, we can kind of give chase to it. Kind of stopped them, but I spooked him by sprinting. Shouldn't go too much further away. Some deer meat would be great, because that does not give you the risk of intestinal parasites. We are driving him back over towards the house. And get around this side of the tree. Guessing, yeah. I'm guessing he's got our scent. He's got our ticket. He knows where we are. He's wise to me. I wonder if it's because I wonder if this is like a new AI for like the fucking deer. <laughs> fucking let go of the fucking thing. Oh god. Gotta go and pick all those up. He doesn't like, you have to draw back the bow fully in order for it to fucking send. I'm learning more about the new bow mechanics as I fucking stumble around trying to shoot this deer. Yeah, you have to really take your time and pull the bowstring back. Fucked an arrow off down here. There it is. I'm sure that went through him, for fuck's sake. I think maybe the particle effect. So it seems like the deer have new AI for like when you pull back the bow, like they and let they know that you're hunting them. Maybe I've got to like get behind a tree and like hold line of sight against them or something. Look at that. He like looks right at me. It's so unlucky. They're just sailing past it. I wonder if it's because my bow skill's really low and like the accuracy's way down. I feel like that's more than likely it. The hypothermia is bad, but it's not awful. Or if I miss this. Oh fuck. I really sent that sailing into oblivion. Oh, that was a hit. A bad hit. So like I pissed it into nowhere. Right, I gotta kind of walk this way to try and find my arrow. Because I really sent it. There's loads of deer out here. Where the fuck have you all been? Oh! Oh, why? Fuck. God damn it, game! Why would there just be a tree there? Oh, for God's sake. Right, well, I suppose we better keep on the trail of this deer. Wherever he got to. I've already lost his trail. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've got to get back to the start of the blood trail, which was, like, up here. Here it is. He's put me through so much, I've got to get him now. At least my fucking bow skill leveled up. you got to lose one or two arrows, I suppose. It just wasn't a very good shot. 
like it hit him in the leg. It wasn't a meat hit. I'm hoping it will be enough to get the connection, but I will see. Wolf is a lot bigger than a deer, but a lot more blood. It could be a bit longer before I am able to really do anything. This does not look like a gaping wound. I think that's him up there. Yeah, look, he survived. Cheeky shit. Yeah, either the arrow's fallen out. I don't think I can draw a bow crouch. No, I don't have that ability. Where is my arrow, you bimbo? I'll hit him again. Question is, where did you dump my arrow, you sack of shit? He's still got both of my arrows in him. There's the cabin down here, or a cabin. But it's not awful. But I've, I've invested everything into this fucking kill. I feel like I should have just fucking used the rifle. <laughs> Maybe I should have. Maybe I will from now on. There's that rock climb. We could spend the night at this cabin. Not really what I want to do, but... I mean, beggars and choosers and all. So what did he do? Did he just go up the rock climb, did he? Blood trails come out this way. It's too cold for me to be fucking around in the woods like this. Here, crows. Probably the plane crash that far up there. It's really far to my right, so I'm hoping that is not the deer in question. This guy has got me going around the fucking twist. Are you shitting me? There's a wolf down here as well. We got drove up this way. Oh, I think that's probably yeah. one there. I hear the crows. I'm guessing he came up here. Anonymous Gifter gifted a sub to Messi. Thank you, Anonymous Gifter. I hear crows up ahead. I need the meat and the hide, not the guts. Excuse me. Yes, and he went all the way round and up. I'm going to have to try and rejoin the trail. God, this is annoying. I'm going up towards the plane crash again. He's got so many of my arrows, I can't really commit to calling this off. the cave. I think just around there. Sounds like the plane crash. Yeah, 
Here's a deer. I don't think this is the deer. No, this is the ravaged one. Okay, well, I know that guy's there. I want my arrows back. I can hear crows to the right here. And that is my destination. So I've got to try and get those arrows back. If he's died in some unaccessible spot, I'm going to be very upset. And I think that's likely, if I'm honest. I might climb up. I'm sure there was a way through this plane crash. And it's like up here. We've already looted nearly all of this. Like, there's really barely anything apart from like the occasional bit of clothing that I'm going to be able to get from here. I had a wolf then. No, no. Leave both of them. The problem is trying to track this deer now has been made infinitely harder by the fact that there's no fucking... The fact that I can't really hear any crows due to the fact that there's so many by the... Uh, what's it? There's that dead guy there. Goes out this way, I can hear. Which place is about right? Ah, but yeah, we're here. Okay, well, we're kind of in the right place. There is a place where I can get warm here. At the very least. There's a basement. I suppose my only options are get warm and wait for better weather. That's where the deer ran up. Just there where is where the deer ran up. Or allegedly ran up. He's dead down. He must be dead on there. But, like, I can't really afford to go down there and check now because obviously it's a one way trip. Okay. We'll get warm. I can't believe it. I've gone from like six arrows. Like, how many broken ones do I have? I think I've only got one broken one. I've got one broken arrow. I've lost three arrows fighting that thing. One in a tree, two in him. Devastated. Absolutely devastated. I do have enough rifle rounds to kind of make a bit of a comeback, but... Jesus, what a disaster. Right, let's head into this basement. We'll get warm. We'll try and make some of our health back. The problem is we don't really have any food. That is the big issue here. Okay. I've just got to try and get warm off whatever I can. There is no food in here. Done. It's proven to be pretty brutal. Okay, well, I guess I can't sleep here now. Gotta wait. Maybe there'll be some food up at the aircraft. I'm gonna pass time for an hour as I'm getting warm here. There's food at the deer I chased, I know. Doesn't really help me there. Visibility is still crap. Right. I'm gonna... I'm gonna try and scree run down... the cliff here. Because this is the log that you pass over on, right? Like that much. 
that much looks obvious. Thank you very much there to the Taco Bell for the five bells. Hello, friends. It's a cold day in fake Canada, but you can warm yourself up with a hot poutine and mayonnaise crunch wrap and wash that down with a big old cup of Timmy's, eh? Only at Taco Bell. Hosa. Live mask, eh? Absolutely. I'm going to check back over this way. I can hear crows over here. Who knew hunting deer was going to be this much of a pain in the ass? Oh, hello. Oh, okay. That can't. Okay. Nice. We found a bunker. Whoopsie daisy. Almost glad I came over here now. Ooh. Ooh. Jesus Christ. Can of gunpowder. Good God. Good God. Shit everywhere in here. Like a doomsday prepper's cash. Definitely a food one. Rabbit snares. Epinephrine pens. The water I can leave. MRE. We're having that. I'm gonna take this food. Because that is extremely heavy on that. We have a bed in here. I can at least spend the night. Drag all this stuff down in the morning. Okay. So I now know that I've got this, right? So I'm gonna keep going out until the morning. Well, until tomorrow. I think the game kind of felt bad for just robbing me of four arrows. Oh, I'm asking for trouble here. The developers saw me come in with this one. There's no jump in the game, if chat's wondering, if you've not seen this before. I can hear... Just a shitload of crows everywhere. I'm so mad that deer took so... Like, he just trolled me and then ran off with all of my arrows. Ah, I should have just called it quits. Should have called it quits and backed off. Okay, um, so, what are my alternatives then? In terms of arrows and stuff, um, I'm pretty pretty shagged now. Like, I've only got two shots. Now, theoretically, you only need one arrow to kill a target. My foot tracks slightly snowed in. Yeah, so I'm back at the plane crash. Gosh darn. Gosh, gosh darn. Unless I was to miraculously find more arrowheads out here, which I don't think I will. I kind of know my way back to where I, that uh, that cache is, so I can at least spend the night there. Oh, hello, mate. There's a wolf there. That's not worth. I could at least grab that deer hide, right? Couldn't I? I could go back through the uh, aircraft fuselage, although maybe I'll grab that on the way back. Yeah, I'll grab that on the way back. This is the front end of that jetliner that crashed. I didn't really give this a really good explore the last time I was here. I searched all of the suitcases and stuff. Is that a cave? No. Just kind of just doing a perimeter sweep. And it's just a stick. Not really sure what I'll find, if anything. It's just the temperature's reasonably hospitable at the moment. I think it's just bare ass open ground up here.
Funny as I follow the sounds of the crows, I'll always get back to the plane. you can go this far north. I don't really think there's anything up here other than the perimeter. Oh. Any crows? What are the odds it's my deer? Hello. Where might I be now? There's a deer there. I best not. Oh, okay. Okay, the game's giving the game's giving me a bit of a freebie here. Hunter's blind. I can hear crows out here. The game felt bad. And there's a uh, dear crows. I just want to investigate. Dead guy. That's not shooting. Wonder if this is any some banged up condensed milk. There's rabbits. I guess I should, could try and grab one of one of you two. Oh you see, yeah, look, they've added something to their AI, like when you draw back, they run off. Well, I've got three arrows now. I wonder if, like, a blizzard... How do you get arrows out of the trees, chat? Does it say? Should probably start heading back towards the cache. I'm getting quite tired. I'll spend the night there. Grab as much food as I can. They're all kind of close, but kind of not. <laughs> They're close, but they are no cigars. Okay, well we got the Hunter's Blind stuff. Back down the hill then. Well, okay, so we lost a load of arrows. But we gained a shitload of food. So, half and half, I guess? I can still hunt. Just follow the prints back. And who knows, maybe we'll even find that fucking deer. We can try and look a bit harder in the morning. Where I thought it died. It's just annoying, because like I say, like I shot it in the legs a couple of times, and you'd think two arrows might be enough, but... If all I did was skin them, then what can I do? I'll just follow my ever fading footprints back to the place where I was. Remember the plane crash. And I can spend the night. Again, ever, ever on the watch for a maple sapling. I imagine my bow didn't appreciate all of that work. Yes, it's on 31% and waning. Now that I'm here, I know the way back. I don't need to follow my footprints. Around here and to the right. So I've kind of been lucky and unlucky, right? Because on the one hand, right, I had six arrows, right? And now I'm down to three. But... In losing those three arrows, I have managed to find a trapper's cache, or a, a doomsday trapper's cache with a shitload of food in. And I found, obviously, that trapper's homestead thing up there, that like, hunter's blind, or whatever it was called. So it's kind of take the good with the bad, I guess. So it was bad in that I lost three arrows. And I am kicking myself over that, and I will try and be more careful. Oh, here we go. Intestinal parasites is here, which is great. At least the risk of. 
Maybe we'll even find the deer in the morning. Who knows? We just gotta wait for better weather. But for now, it's a case of getting in bed, getting some rest, sleeping through until morning, and then going from there. Right. Got wooden matches. A couple of tinder plugs. Storm lantern has actually quite a bit in, so I will take that with me when the time comes. What's in the grate? What flare shell? Tend not to get too much good stuff out of them, so I'm happy with that. Right, we drank all of our water, but thankfully the game provides. We'll just check out these uh, minor cabinets. Pinchy bar. Lovely stuff. Nothing quite in there. Rabbit snare on the floor, which I will take, because that's going to be the way to go, I reckon. Herbal tea as well. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Can't do any cooking in here, but this has been a big old... Oh, and a tin of coffee. There's so much food in here. If I was to break this crate, would there be stuff in it? No, just a shitload of reclaimed wood. I know that sometimes you can get stuff from those crates. Should I, like, just break this next one? I'm going to be sleeping very shortly anyway. No, nothing in them. I'm sure there was a place where you could get, like, those. Right. Sleep. We're going to be going for a 12-hour kip. And then we'll go from there. 12 hours of rest. Sprained ankle healed, which is very nice. Then we need to go back, back through the plane, maybe grab the deer hide from the other place, and then go back downstairs. Not bad. That's a flare, that's my fresh storm lantern. Let's use the one that's got less in it. Because we can burn through that the quickest and then we can drop it. So that'll be this one. Use. Right, what I want to try and do, I'm going to leave the water for obvious reasons because I can just get my own water. Things that I do want. I want the can of gunpowder. I want the whetstone. I want every bit of food I can carry, if I can carry it all. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be overburdened, but it's doable, because I didn't come up here with much. I've got all of that food, all of that stuff there. Looking very good for the tin supplies. Not even overburdened at the moment, which is great. Took an extra bottle of water with me, just checking under the bed. Nothing down there. Right, that is everything. I've already got a couple of tin openers at home. Let's head up and out. Can I eat something? Let's have that tin of condensed milk. Before I head out, it's already banged up. Lovely. Very high calorie count. Right, up and out. Visibility, I'm imagining, is going to be crap. Oh, no. Not bad. Not bad at all. In that case, I'm going to switch to flares or maybe torches. We shall see. didn't realise that shortcut was there. You can cut just up that hill. The deer carcass, rather than me having to go back through the plane, should be just here. And I can saw off just a little bit of meat that it has on it. There it is. Six, nah, six calories. Mm. It's the hide I'm really after. Could even go and get warm in the practice cache again. Sun's going to be coming up in the not too distant future. I will apologise, it is very dark chat. Um, but I've, I can see at the moment, and I don't necessarily want to be wasting a shitload of resources. So even though it's very dark, I'm still going to act. I could wait for better light, maybe? 
you know what, I think I will. I'm gonna go, no, I am gonna go, I'm gonna go back to the home trappers thing. I'm gonna go back to the prep. And I'm going to catch just a little bit more sleep. And hopefully the daylight will be better and then that could potentially get, because if I find the deer and I've got all of this kit, then the expedition was really worth it. Where was the catch? It was like in here, was it? I'll head back downstairs and we'll just sleep for a couple more hours, just mostly to get warm. And then wait for daylight. Lovely. Hopefully we've got something creeping onto daytime here. Not super close, but not super far either. can't hear any crows and this is like not far from where we lost the trail so I'm just gonna have to assume that we didn't even kill the deer with the second shot which is a shame but it's at least not the end of the world I mean I do technically have one broken arrow still so I have four arrows so I suppose when you say it like that it's not the end of the world it's not good That's over there by the plane. We're going to use the shortcut, don't we? There's a shortcut around here. Where is that shortcut? We were just here. It's just here, the shortcut. There we go. Down the hill we go. Yeah, so we lost the trail. So this is the log we ran across. We lost the trail like just here at this rock. All of the crows I can hear. I, yeah, he like ran up here. Really annoying. Just wondering if there's any way. dark actually I'm gonna just so I can watch my step I really shouldn't be here, but I'm just trying to write off because we had a look over there. Oh, it didn't look like yeah. he was on top of that little lip. Could try and connect to that. It's not insanely steep. That brings us down by the cabin. Okay, well I, I gathered all the food and everything, so you know, I mean, say what you will, it wasn't a total waste. 
sleep away that spray. If we can. There we go. Still in a little bit of pain. Only gonna last another hour or so. Let's head on out. Yeah, it's good having the emergency stim. Just drink up what I have. I'm very glad, like, I I'm not keen on, like, eating through my non-perishable goods. So, like, the, um... That was the rock climb we ran past. Yeah, so we came through here, didn't we? Yeah, which means the place we want to go is, like, just over here. I can't believe I put that arrow in that tree. I knew I shouldn't have shot that. You're going to have to talk me out of it, chat. You're going to have to remind me of this exact moment whenever I want to shoot an arrow over a hill again. You're going to have to say, Joe, remember that time when it got stuck in the tree? Yeah, don't do it again. Because I will undoubtedly do it again. So I've got... Th okay, I've got three arrows. I've got four if you count the broken one in my pack. Which I do. Because I do have some spare saplings at home. It's just, I've been so unlucky oh, for burnt, or oh, sorry, yeah. for maple saplings. I've been really unlucky for it. Matt Hold, thank you very much. There a whole year? That was fast. Thank you very much. Jen tells me that all the time. <laughs> right. That's the farmstead. That's your man, Rabbit of Rabbiton. Tempted. Tempted, chat. It's a shit idea, but I'm tempted. Nah, he's getting back the other way. If he'd have stayed with me, I might have. I've never been so hungry in my life. I mean, coming back over this way, I guess, gives me the opportunity to just have a rummage around and see whether that like, arrow was blown out of the tree or anything by the blizzard. I hope it was. Yeah, I, I fucked all of my arrows around over there, but I'm guessing I picked up every one that I could pick up. Do you ever think you'll revisit Invisible Ink? I really enjoyed your playthrough of that. Thanks for giving me a great source of entertainment during the quarantine. I might revisit Invisible Ink. I've got all of those new agents, don't I? So there's no reason why not. There are those deer from before. Hell, the same deer might even be back over there. Because I know that deer tend to, like, try to return to the point where they were pathing. So if he survived, he may even be back over here, but probably without my arrows, which is a real shame. Did that arrow get blown out of the tree? Or is it up there still? No, it's still up there. How would I get that down, chat? It, or is that just lost forever? Is there like an official thing? Like having arrows stuck in trees? I, I kind of want to shoot it to get it down, but... Lost, I think, yeah. Well, at least the game gave me one spare arrow, right, from the uh, from the hunting place. So we found that deer. So we, we we first encountered this deer chilling out down here. Wouldn't it be nice if it was down here dead? Wouldn't it be nice? Oh, yeah. I hope so. No, I think I've asked for a bit much. I reckon it did probably succumb to its injuries, but in an area that I can't get to. I reckon that's more likely. I reckon it probably did oh, die, yeah. but like finding the finding the guy is like, where do I even start? Yeah, because this is where I encountered him. And normally what the game does is if you encounter an animal, like, for example, like, that they have, like, a spawn areas. Throw a rock at these. That's an idea. 
that is an idea. Throw a rock at the arrow. I don't know whether that will work. Probably not. Because it's going to require me to have halfway decent aim. with it. We'll see. Maybe I should... Well, I need to get warm, but at least I know there's deer over here that I can potentially hunt. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'd put that right through the arrow there. Give it a couple more tries. Well, those definitely both missed. Kind of don't want to get hit on the head by one. That wasn't. In before the rock bonks me on the face, it's probably going to happen. That was pretty close. I wonder if this does damage to the arrow, and then I could, like, turn it into a broken arrow. Maybe it will fall, or something. That's probably a, a bit wishful wishful thinking. Try jumping. You know, I actually tried that. I don't know what... What was it? Expecting. Yeah, I'm starting to suffer from hypothermia now. Oh, well. Maybe. I mean, sometimes in really bad blizzards... They get blown out of the trees. I'm sure I've had that happen to me before. Where, like, I've found, like, random arrows just in the woods that have been... I think I've either pissed into the wind or have been blown out of trees. Try asking nicely. Oh, it's so annoying. I wish I could get, like, a... Because you, what you do is you get, like, a long branch or something and just try and dislodge it. Obviously, I can't do anything like that. I could eat anything. Uh, well, we'll try and... We've got a little bit of wolf meat back in the house that we can get you back on. But yeah, I think it looks pretty much now like I've got to use just fucking the rifle for hunting deer. Which I will do. I'll fire up the rifle, load up the rifle, and uh, bring it out here. I've got three shots on me, um, but only after I've gotten warm and after I've had a little bit to eat. Drop off this uh, last deer hide into the basement. We'll go straight down, I think. Lovely. Down we go. Yeah, arrows are quite precious. Like, don't, don't think of arrow as like a, a like it's you know value in weight or whatever. Think of an arrow like this, right? Food is everything in this game, right? Food, food is life. Trek, you know, trek is life. Food is life. That kind of thing. Um, and so. If you lose an arrow, right, think about how much potential you lose. Every arrow that you have is a potential kill, right? That's hide for repairing stuff, guts for manufacturing snares and whatever else, and, and guts for bows and stuff, and particularly meat. Obviously, the obvious one being the meat, right? Every arrow is another chance to kill something. If you lose an arrow like that, it's gone. You know what I mean? You can't use that again. It's it's out of there. This is a really good haul. That venison meat is barely edible, but we'll take what we can get. So once you start thinking of arrows like that, same thing could be said for bullets. But it's very true, but I tend not to waste me bullets. If I did waste me bullets, I'd be kicking myself then as I am now. Have a stale granola bar. Right, so what I want to do, I'll probably do it in the morning. I don't know, I could do it now. I'll do it now. Yeah, because I'm not tired, am I? I need to go upstairs and cook that wolf meat that's up there and then eat it. But for now, I want to manufacture just one or two extra arrowheads. So I've got some birch saplings. We need to make ourselves a arrow shaft using the hatchet here, I think I'm going to use for 45 minutes. Pain is healed. We're warm. Right, then I need to grab myself... I think I've got enough arrow... Yeah, I've got enough. Simple arrow. Craft one. Now, I can actually manufacture arrowheads. 
that's one of the big things. I can manufacture arrowheads, but I can't do it here. I can't do them here. I've got to travel across the map, and I think probably the easiest one to get to is going to be Forlorn Muskeg, because that's quite close to where I'm based, because, like, it's Pleasant Valley, I'm gonna need to which is where I am now, and then I've got to go through the Hydra Dam, Mystery Lake, and then to where I'm going. So it's not too bad. We've got all of that, got all of that. Right. Let's head upstairs, because I've now got that spare arrow. So now I've got four arrows. So it's not awful. Right? I can definitely do hunting with four arrows. I've just got to make sure I don't waste any more. Got all my spare recycled cans down there. Got my spare torches. Let's head on up and drop off what food supply I have. Cook up what I've got in the fridge. If it's not already spoiled rotten, it might, might have deleted itself if it's already spoiled. It's very close to spoiling. Right, let's fire up the stove. Let's do it. Very low fire striker there. Let's get that started. And throw in our old book, because we're not using that. Now, IRL arrow making is really complicated. There's a lot to take, in, take into consideration. Damn it. I'm, quite good. I'm having very rotten luck with this. But I want to get through my fire strikers. I'm having no luck at all. Right, let's burn the book. Let's lower it. We're on book burning chat. This should this should take. 90% chance. Oh, I'll be surprised if yeah. this doesn't. Thank you very much. That's cunning stunt for the 13 months. Very, very kind. Good to have you in. I've already read this book, chat, so it's uh it's okay to burn this one. I have the knowledge, as long as I pass that knowledge on to someone else. Which I am, I'm passing it on to chat. So it's A-OK -okay in the end. Add one then. Grab a bit of that. A bit of that. And then I do have my fur wood that I threw on the floor, didn't I? We can throw that in. And we can throw that in. And all of that's going to be boiling. Right, let's grab this shit out of the fridge. Because we have a whole wolf in here. here. It might be worth me just sticking to... It might just be worth me sticking to wolves. Until I can, Jesus, until I can, um, you know. That's it. Sorry, chat. I will brain very shortly. There we go. There's no quick way of doing this, unfortunately. I could drop it on the floor, I suppose, but then... What's the point to pick that up? Looking slot. Right, we can wait for all of that to cook. Any of these are going to be done quite quickly. 22 minutes and stuff. Right then, so we can start taking visual stock of our new food situation now that we've got all of this extra food here, which I'm very happy with. Drop all of that. That was an extremely welcome find. Make no mistake. I don't think anyone mistakes that. That is a colossal... For, 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 for stalker difficulty, this was a colossal find. What I like doing, chat, as well, I do have cupboards and stuff, but I like having all of my food out in front of me. Like this, just because... Yeah, some of the foods aren't letting me place very close to them. And you can't rotate either, which is annoying, but... Again, really Any of this done? Very close to getting done. That's not possible. Very happy with this. Like I say, I, I really only save this stuff for emergencies. Like, I could start digging into it, and you do have to eat the stuff that goes rotten. You know what I mean? Like some of this will go bad, right? And you've got to eat it as as you got to eat it as it comes and goes, right? So you can't just like ignore this stuff and like not eat any of it. You've got to eat it all. Any of that done? Very close to being. Put this here. 
So as, as yeah, because they're, they're not. I say they're non-perishables, but they are. They are. They, they are. There is a degree of perishability to them, right? They're, they don't last forever. They do slowly deteriorate over the t over time, but at much less of a rate than, say, you know, meat. As you can see, our actual meat supplies are, are really struggling overall. I'm just going to throw all of my packet food haphazardly over here. I don't know why the placement rate is so bad. Didn't someone say something like about how to fix it? About like, because look at this. Look at this. Why can't I place a candy bar there? here because that's a brewable. Put some in the sink. I think it's just a hitbox on some of it. A bit of raw venison. Well, no, well mouldy venison, but you know, again, delicious. Cut that. 55 minutes. Do I have 55 minutes of fire? Yes, I do. Plenty of water. This has been such a good food haul. It's a massive difference, this. That's it. It should allow you to clear clutter. Allow you to clear cl clutter from the counter. Some of it you can, but most of it you can't. See, I don't know why. <laughs> it's so annoying. I don't know why I can't place stuff like reasonably close together. I'm just gonna put some in the fucking sink as well. Why the hell not? For now. I might end up putting my like wrappers and foods and stuff in, in a cupboard just because the placement of them is a bit unreasonable. Game just being a twat. I can believe that. How's the rest of this doing? Not bad. Do I have any water on there? About 0.57 litres, which isn't bad at all. I'm going to go out and, I mean... So I've got four deer hide, right? I do need more deer hide. I've got three wolf hide, so I need one more wolf hide, right? Because I've got one wolf hide downstairs. Ooh, I've also got some fair wood there. I'll take this and we'll put this by the fireplace, because I've got this stuff here as well. Got that. Got all my spare tins as well, which I'm not really using. That's possible. I'll just pick that up drink some of it, I guess. There we go. We've got some of this stuff now done. Wolf meat. Chance of intestinal parasites goes up, but it, as you can see, the actual calorific value is uh, fantastic. Is there a way to win this game? No, just last as long as you can. Finding another wolf would be ace. Yeah, a lot of this stuff's going to be done very shortly. Knock that one then. It's not knocking arrow. 717 calories, that's going to take me most of the way to full, to be honest, and then the rest of this stuff I could probably leave in the fridge until such a time that it was completed, or needed, I should say. 18 minutes for that, I'll just put this in the freezer up here. Now again, because it's indoors, this stuff tends to deteriorate quite quickly. That's the only bad thing about this house. I used to leave all of my meat outside. I don't know whether I can do that in this because like before you used to be able to leave it on the front porch but I think they patched that because the front porch is like weirdly indoors now right let's head out again visibility is good I'm gonna go maybe try and hunt another deer Having not learned my lesson from last time, I'm going to take the bow again, and I'm going to hunt in that. Now that I've found an extra arrow, it's not as bad. Did I get rid of the guts and stuff? Do I still stink? No, I do not. Is there a place close by that you can use to make arrowheads? Not close by. It's two and a half biomes away. Technically three, if you count my own biome. But I have to travel into the caves that take me to the Hydra Dam, which I've already explored. Then from the Hydra Dam, I've got to go through Pleasant... No, no, I've got to go through Mystery Lake. And then from Mystery Lake, I've got to go to Forlorn Muskeg. Now, that's a straight run, pretty much. Like, from Carter Hydra Dam to um, Forlorn Muskeg is pretty much a straight shot. Like, you can just go straight there, pretty much. Like, you just follow the railway line down the middle of the map. It's a fair few wolves. I won't sugarcoat it. There's a lot of bitey things out there. And then if you really wanted to go even further than that, you could go towards, like, the Forgotten Railroad. 
which is normally quite good for hunting, but I d the Forgotten Railroad is a very dangerous place because it's so narrow. It's a fjord, right? Which means there's no way to go around. Like, the nice thing about the Pleasant Valley here is that, like, it's very wide open. Like, I can hook around, I can go different directions, I can give things a wide berth, a narrow berth. I can go wherever I want to, in relative, you know, relatively speaking. So these fuckers are all still here. And then we've got the guy out on his own. We'll go for this guy. Oh. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Aha. I'm happy with that. Okay. Grab all of that. And that, and that one. And we're going to be very cold. But we're just going to go straight back home. Because we've got all of that. A couple of arrows. We'll grab the feathers in a little bit. Wicked. Okay, that. Just like that, that shit was worth it. Didn't break the arrow either. And that was good, because that was a definite kill. Good shot through the stomach. You could even... You, you might even argue that that was the guy from last time. Like, because sometimes they just shed their arrows. And just, like, come back, even on the same health. Like, the game, like, respawns them on the health that they were at. Because that guy was, like, a loner. Similar to how the other guy was. Because the arrows can fall out while they're running. Like, that's not unheard of. That was a good meat shot. I reckon the reason the game gave me that was because it was at such close range. side and we'll fire up the stove again. This is really good now because that means I've got quite a bit of meat now and not all of it is wolf meat, carnivore meat. Carnivore meat obviously gives you the most grief when it comes to uh, intestinal parasites and stuff because you can eat it but you run the risk of getting very ill. So yeah, cooking it and stuff is pretty good. Right, so I've got all of that shit in there. That's going to be ready for a while. Got all of this stuff. Could cook that straight up. That's a lot of meat from a single kill. That's really good. Um, I think I'll store it. I'll get warm and then I'll go in for a firewood run. Because I think that's what I need right now. Let's drop off the guts and stuff in the basement. I think I need to go and get some firewood. I do have lots of things that I can break up, but ideally I can you know, reclaim wood isn't the best. I'm just going to start dropping shit right here. This is going to be the new guts corner. Clothes are very cold. I now have five deer hides, which is great, and a fresh wolf pelt down here. It's so important. R really, the next so level two is going to be getting bear hides, which is going to be a real pain in the ass. Because really, the only way I'm going to be able to get bear hide like consistently is my spare revolvers down there. I've got like three spare revolvers down here because I just kept finding and a spare rifle. Um, I just kept finding. Um. Yeah, like, I'm probably going to have to lure the bear over here and then try and kill it. What does this do? Crafting and repair. Does having that on me reduce that? So if I was to do that, if I was to pick that up, 30 minutes, no. What does it do then, the quality tools? So it looks like I've been able to craft stuff without it. I guess it's like a prerequisite for certain crafting materials. I do need some more bandages, but I can sort that out upstairs. I'll drop all the stuff off, yeah. Just gotta go upstairs, drop the meat off. Just take a moment to get warm. We are losing the light. Probably forge a milling machine, I reckon. stone cold right what we'll do is we'll put this stuff in here for now we we'll want to cook that sooner rather than later because that stuff does not last long really doesn't quality tools also reduce the time to craft arrows by 50 percent even if the tools are not required for the crafting itself i see so it reduces crafting time is the general consensus
warming up, but not very fast. I want to just quickly run out and grab some firewood, but it's going to be freezing. Can I wait an hour? Oh, it's going to get dark. I feel like I should just go for it. It's going to be cold, but fuck it. You can repair tools. Sorry. Um, you can repair the same set, this set of items. So, hacksaw, heavy hammer, simple tools, cooking pot. So, uh, that's stuff I can repair with a set of quality tools, is it? It's not too cold out, actually. It's not good. It's not bad either. I'm just glad that I've got some... I'm starting to get some meat in now, because that, that amount of meat will last me two, three days. So that's good. That's a good amount of food to have, just from, you know... And this is what I'm on about. This is why it's so dangerous, like... Oh, God. A real wind chill just set in. I do need to grab some more firewood, though. So I've got to do this. Lessons time. Increase speed. I did forget to have the success rate. Okay. Is this fur? Cedar. Oh, 45 minutes. Yeah. Jesus H. Where'd the fucking house go? Well, this is a nasty blizzard. If my arrow's still up in the tree after this, I've got a strong bow arm. 650 viewers. Very nice. Thank you, everybody, for dropping in. I will actually be leaving it here, though. Um, it's coming up to about the two-hour time uh, for the VOD. There's the farmhouse. The fuck when people don't pay attention to social media. Talking to me, are you? I feel like that's a slight against me, Raven. I am that man. But the silo? I thought the silo had fallen down, then. Let's get inside, can hear the swings going. Indoors. Get a little bit warmer. And then we can go and get some rest. It's going to be very dark in here. Oh, yes. Use the uh, weaker of the two storm mantles, or the darker of the two. The one that's got the less fuel. I do need to drop off my gunpowder as well when I get a chance. I'm still in the market for a fucking um, cedar sapling or whatever it is, maple sapling. There we go. Right, getting warm. We can just eat up or drink up a little bit more. We'll come downstairs and we'll do all the cooking in the morning. But from me now, I am going to leave that there. So I'm just going to drop off the rifle ammunition I've got here. How much do I store these? I store them in boxes of 12 rounds. Don't I? So if I drop 12 of them, that's another complete box of remote ammunition. Look at that, eh? Hey, eh? Hey, chap! Look at that! Very, very fucking nice. I've got so many fucking gun books. Like, I could actually just increase my rifle skill just by having a couple of days of reading. Which I might honestly do, to be fair, because otherwise, what's the point? You're meant to use those books this early on anyway, all of my spare flares. Let's head upstairs then, we'll grab some kip, and we'll call that a stream. So yeah, we'll just really jump on in here, it's too cold to do anything. Let's get a book, like that, a book. Turn that off, and then hit the sack for 12 hours. And then we'll wake up in the morning, and we're going to do all that good stuff. Looks like you're in the US and not in Canada with them gun books, I suppose. Right then. So that's there. Drink that. And I think that's the game saved for me. Because I did a sleep, didn't I? So I think that's the game saved. So I am going to confirm the save here. And that is everything. So thank you everybody for tuning in today. Uh, a big thank you to all of the subs and everything. Thank you for the bits there. Um, thank you, yeah, thank you everyone. Thank you Woody, ZZ Knob, uh, everybody who donated as well. It's all going into the not-so-tiny tuition fund. And uh, yeah, I will catch thee all on the flip side. So have a splendid afternoon, evening, and whatever chat. I know it's only quarter past three, but I'm going to bugger off. Mate, are you going to do a stream maybe, Jane? Or... Hello? Are you going to do a stream maybe? Possibly. Possibly maybe. So yeah, keep an eye on Jane's channel. She might be doing some streaming. Tom is on. I'll see who I'm going to host, uh, Mr. Hundra. I'll see. I will see. So, who we got on? Oh, yes. Henry. Jaeger's on. Oh, but that, but Henry. Henry boy. Out there.
Pashi to Jaeger. Mr. Jag Zero. It has been a while. It's been a while since I hosted Catla. Oh, decisions. Yeah, to be fair, I'm going to host Catler. I'm going to host Catler up. So this is Catler. He's currently playing Kingdom Come Deliverance. He's playing Mr. Honry. Well, let's do slash raid Catler underscore Haddock. Intended for mature audiences. There we go. I've got it. So yeah, thank you everybody for tuning in today. Um, and I will catch the all on the flip side. I won't be doing a stream this evening, but I will probably be doing a stream tomorrow. We'll, we'll see how it goes. So thank you, everybody, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.